back to cold waters. I'm David Steele. Here's me boat, and uh, I like boats. Today we're in a Sea Wolf, and we're going to attempt to engage a uh, Russian-built Kirov uh, cruiser with harpoon missiles. And my crew are busy loading eight into the torpedo tubes at the front of the ship. Why eight, you say? Well, first things first, it will likely take two or maybe three um, strikes from a harpoon to sink a Kirov. Great, but why eight? Well, you typically have maybe a 50% hit rate, depending on the circumstances and the angle, when you attack a modern warship. And that's because um, the warship has a closing weapon system now. They also have surface to air missile systems as well that will actively engage things such as harpoon missiles. So I don't really want to re reveal my position by firing a, a, a missile or two or three or four at the Kirov without a reasonable chance of crippling or sinking it. Okay. So, crew are doing a couple of things right now. We are loading harpoons, which arguably I would have done before the engagement, but that didn't happen, so okay. So they're busy loading harpoons, and we're also analyzing the the, the sonar from the uh, from the Kirov. Now, ask me why you shouldn't um, surface or go to periscope depth and paint it with your radar. And the reason being is, um, if you paint an enemy warship with your radar, or pop up a periscope so that it can detect your periscope against the sea, it will either make like a tree and run for it, or more likely, if it's like a Kirov, it will uh, start to fire upon you. And it won't just fire one or two torpedoes, no, it'll fire as many as it can. This thing is uh, out of the teeth. Let's see, what, what's it got? So, a horse jaw. That's a passive sonar, great. That's a, it's a good quality sonar. A horse tail, a toad array, which is also particularly nasty. Now this is important because this toad array sonar can drop below the layer. So it can hear you better if you're below, in this case, 211 feet. It's got a radar, great. So it can see a periscope. The um, SSN-14, surface to surface, naval 14, these bad boys can carry a torpedo and they do carry a torpedo and they drop it on your head and it's very unpleasant so this is important it can be launched to the first conversion zone and drops a UGMT homing yeah okay it drops a torpedo on you it can use targeting data transmitted from any friendly sea or air unit by data link in other words another warship or a helicopter or a fixed-wing aircraft can detect your position and send it to the Kirov and it can fire upon you and they do there's just one warship in this scenario but if there's several you can have just one of these ships equipped with the um, SSN 14 and uh, it'll fire upon you if if another data linked vessel detects you that's unpleasant you said 80 um, basically a torpedo uh, 3,000 yard range, it does 50 knots. The Sea Wolf can do 35, I think. Oh, it's heading towards me. Okay. This, yeah, the Sea Wolf can do uh, 35 knots. So it can close upon you at mm, 15 knots. That doesn't sound like much. It's maybe 17, 18 miles an hour. But it's faster than you can, uh, you can run. A good chance anyway. And finally, RBU-6000, that's a rocket launch step charge, and uh, 6,000 meters, that is uh, it's a long way, that's 10 kilometers, and uh, what's, what's this distance, 8,000 yards, so it, it can reach me with this RBU-6000, yeah, it's also got guns, and anti-missile guns as well, so if I'm on the surface, it's going to shell me, and anti-missile guns, I believe this thing has two on each side, so the head-on approach, to drop a torpedo or um, drop a missile in its face can be effective, but broadside, less so.
Okay. It's coming towards me. Um, yeah, this could be a challenge. So let's talk a little bit about the about how to configure missiles. So the missile uh, functions here. You've actually got and torpedoes. You've got three settings, but missiles you've just got two. So you've got the the weapon search and missile. You've got wide and you've got narrow. So in this case, there's just one target. It doesn't matter. Con, torpedo room, tube eight ready. I'm going to put myself in Appreciate silent running quiet. mode. If you have multiple targets and you want to narrow it down to just one information, you might wish to use the, the narrow search. I'm going to keep it on broad. And then the next is the is the height or the depth. Now I forget which way round this is. Con, what? One of these is sea skimming, and one of these is normal height. Now, sea skimming, as it sounds, the missile basically rides the waves towards the target, but it pops up, and I think it pops up, circles around, and tries to attack it from a different angle. That gives it a lot of time um, in range of the anti-missile guns, or at least close enough to the warship. If there's two or three warships in a fairly close... Um, Transformation, they'll mutually support each other with their anti-missile guns. So that's not going to work. Firing one at least is not going to work. You want to ripple fire them. Now if I fire one, there's a chance it's going to get intercepted by the anti-missile guns. But even if it doesn't, it's probably not going to sink the Kirov cruiser. I mean, it may do, but it's probably not going to. And even if you do sink it, it's still going to get a shot or two or three or four off in your direction. So you may have to deal with a torpedo homing on, in on you. So what do you do? Uh, to maximize the chances of you hitting it, I'm going to ripple fire. I might just try four at first. But I'm going to mix them up. So first one is going to be, I'm going to go with level flight. And then the second one, we'll drop that one to sea skimming. The third one, level flight. The fourth one, sea skimming. You switch between your torpedo tubes using the F key as standard. And to fire a missile, um, you you hit tap space. You align on the map here where where you want the missile to go. So I can't. So maximum depth is 200 feet to to fire these. Um, and then you right mouse. So I basically I'm going to do space, right mouse, uh, F to next tube, space, right mouse, F. I think what I want to do is, he's just moving at two knots right now, so it's quite a relaxed state. I'm going to get up to 200 feet. That's the deepest I can be to fire a missile here. And then we're going to give him uh, maybe two. So we're going to give him a couple of missiles, not, not four. Let's make this video a little more interesting, shall we? Give him a couple of missiles. And um, once I fire those missiles, I'm going to drop my, my depth again increase my speed and refill those tubes probably with mosses because I might want those decoys. Part of me could do this now but I'm not gonna I want to live dangerously. Decoys because he is gonna fire upon me and whether that's gonna be depth charges or whether that's gonna be torpedoes probably torpedoes at first. He's not really gonna know my depth or know precisely where I am. The torpedoes gonna home. Okay quick check if he switches to active he's going to get a return of 14 decibels so there's a pretty good chance he's going to detect me passive and toady he's not going to be able to hear me so i'm not too concerned about that right now okay popping above the layer right now there we go reckons he's 10,000 yards away now i could wait and see if the solution here, 64, if that in increases. In fact, I think I will. We'll just... No, it's dropped to 63. Let's set the right time for just a little bit, see if it changes. Dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive by. Not really. 62, okay. Um, I'm going to fire a couple of missiles. So, space, uh, fire it here. Right mouse. Shoot. F space right mouse. Okay. Now I'm going to drop my altitude, drop my height to 900 feet. I'm going to change my course to be a little bit. 
Pump my speed up to uh, 10 knots. Let's go ahead and load some mosses. And let's watch these harpoons sea skimming or approaching the, the target. We, we, we may see chaff. Okay, he's, he's firing at me. That's the chaff, and that's his missile coming towards me. So he's already launching a torpedo in my direction. I really wanted to see um, my missiles get closer, but I guess we're not. We may see the close-in web. Oh, well, there's one. Looks like it's on fire, though. It's not going to reach the target. Yeah, one one missed. Let's see if the second one. Con, helm, steady course. Nothing. Okay. So that looks like we just wasted a couple of harpoons. I'm going to go ahead and fire a, a moss straight away. I've just seen... Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's, uh, that's not good. Drop a noisemaker. Um, I'm going to turn hard to port. Try and get away from this, this guy. I don't think I'm going to manage it. He may detect, or he should detect, my decoy. But he's going to immediately uh, turn away and then pick me up. So that's just not good. Yeah, let's turn back to starboard. Okay, he's going to pick me up almost immediately. He's going to turn around and basically spot me. There we go. Oh, oh, the noisemaker got in the way. Okay. Um... Let's emergency back emergency and find the other moss. Once my speed gets below about eight knots. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There, fire. And crank it to 20 knots or... Gonna turn back towards it. Yeah, look, looks like it's, it's picked up the moss, it's firing, great. What we want to do is get out, out of the way. So I'm gonna increase, or reduce my depth even. Like so, um, let's my heading back in this direction. And we're now rising very, very quickly. What I want this torpedo to do is when it loses, I still can't see me, when it loses uh, its detection on the first moss to pick up the second one and keep traveling between the two uh, decoys. No, actually, don't want to do that. Let's keep my speed up. Okay, so, trying to level off my depth, okay, it, it's worked. So the torpedo's picked up the the other moss. Now I need to be a little bit of a distance away. Um, so, there's another torpedo, okay. So that when this torpedo loses this moss and turns around, if it turns around and runs uh, to starboard, in other words, runs clockwise, as opposed to uh, counterclockwise or anticlockwise. It doesn't pick me up, but picks the other moss up. We're not asking for much here, right? Let's drop my speed to 15. Let's put my depth to 200 feet, because we can take another attack on the Kirov. As we're almost at 200 feet. Drop my speed to 10. Something blew up. Okay, I am going to have another go at the Kirov. And I'm going to maybe fire three this time. What else have I got in here? Supplies. Uh, I've got some anti uh, anti shipping cruise missiles. Okay. There's another torpedo that, that's tracking here, but it's not going to see me, I hope, and it's not going to see the two decoys. It's also at 200 feet. Yeah, that's a little worrying because that's me bobbing away from it. Uh, I'm just going to keep running north right now. Let's accelerate time. I, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, 
So. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. I'm gonna get my depth down to 200 feet. This thing is right on my tail. So my, my plan didn't work. Okay, so torpedo evasion. Drop a noisemaker right now. I'm gonna swing to the port, to port, so basically turn left. I'm dropping my depth, or increasing my depth, I should say, in the hope that I, I'm gonna evade it. Now what I wanna do is get as close to this thing as I can, but without scraping paint. Alright, let's put my depth. It's turning towards me, but I might have snuck in underneath it. Okay, and I really want to turn back out and head to the northeast. I want to head away from the victor, victim target. I'm just below my test depth, but I think I'm going to be okay. Right, so it should... Yeah, I can't see myself, but I know... Um, yeah, I can't pick myself up, but that, that that's fine. There I am. I'm gonna turn north northwest now, northeast even. Sorry. I want to try and stick close to it as much as I can because I really don't want it to pick me up. But okay, it's turning northwest like so. Let's uh, let's run out northwest. I'm gonna keep my my speed up if it does detect me. Um, I think it's just gonna circle now. If it does detect me, I've got a bit of a, a, a lick of speed on. If I, I'm going to actually turn east away from it, put a bit more depth, a bit more distance even. There we go. So I'm heading more or less due east. So it's going to swing round. It may pick me up, and if it does, it will, it will chase me. But I've got that. I'm already at 35 knots. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's picked me up. Look how quickly it, it changes depth. Okay. It's a little disappointing. Let's give it a knuckle. So it's turned slightly to port. And now hard to starboard. And let's change my depth. Let's, let's rise. Now I think this is a little dangerous because I'm at that distance where it can pick me up quite quickly. But I'm going to keep turning towards it. And the hope is Passing 700 feet. Passing 600 feet. is it going to work? Is it going to work? Feet. No, it, it's it's Passing already figured out sonar. what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Let's drop my depth to 900 feet again. Um, straighten up. Well, God, I'm heading right forward. towards it. Okay. Right, it blew up, so I put myself into ultra silent or ultra quiet running, ultra quiet mode. Um, let's get my depth. This will put it at 500 feet. And... Who? See what's happening though. This this torpedo is hunting between the two mosses, and it, it's not destroying either. was a little exciting now, wasn't it? We didn't really achieve what I wanted to do. And I don't know where the Kirov is. Okay. That is at least how you evade a torpedo. Rapid changes of depth and rapid headed changes and try and keep yourself close to it, but not too close. Okay. This, this, that yellow ping shows me pretty much where the Kirov is. It's, it's pretty much where we thought it was. I'm going to turn away from it. Where is it? Did it run away? Well, I guess it did. Well, 90% solution, so we're not really sure where it is. Uh, okay. Right, as we turn away from it, we don't get a particularly good firing solution on it. Let's run due east. When I give my uh, my mics in the toad area a better chance to, to, to pick it up. 34% solution. Right, let's give this a little time. I'm going to take a 
little drink here. Well, he fired upon me and I survived, and I fired upon him and he survived. So it's just tit for tat right now. I reckon it's, it's some distance away. I'm going to put my depth to 200 feet. Now this might, I might get picked up by this. But yeah, his active sonar is not going to pick me up at this distance. Yeah, any. Nine decibels. Nine decibels is, is closer to picking me up, but five is not a bad thing. And I've got twelve decibels on my toad array, so I, I'm getting a pretty good, um, pretty good uh, signal from from him. He's still doing just two knots. Fifty six per cent solution. Uh, <clears throat> course of one twenty three. So he's actually okay, he's he's running away from me. Um I don't necessarily need to um increase the, the distance here. So let's match his course. I want to run parallel with him here. No, we're going a little a little quicker than he is, but that's not a big deal. Okay, solution 67. 68, let's take some more, some more fluid here. This is non-alcoholic, so uh, it's going to be okay. It's not going to impair my judgment. Okay. Solution's getting better. 76% now, and he's 18,000 yards away. Now, I turned off helicopters for this, this video, but if, I, if there were helicopters around, I would be in a lot of trouble here at, at, at this point. I wouldn't be able to loiter so close to the surface for so long, because they would surely pick me up. Can I, can I see him yet? No. <clears throat> oh, hello. Yeah, so he's barely moving. You've got a big surprise for you, Mr. Kirov. Okay, all right. Let's turn off, accelerate time. We're now going to ripple fire. Um, I wonder if I should de deploy my mosses first. Tempting to get my mosses on the way because I think what's going to happen is he's, he's going to detect, detect me. So, moss number one off. I want to fire three or four, or just six. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and fire um, three at at first. So one, two, three. Okay. And I might as well get these things reloading into their anti ship cruise missiles. Any more mosses? No. Well, we'll get another anti ship missile because next time's going to be three harpoons and a cruise missile. Maybe just everything. Alright. So we're watching one of the harpoons approaching the target here. I'm hoping it picks it up. We might see some, some chaff up here. We might see some close in weapon fire. That's typically green. It's like grape shot. Right, it's picked it up. Okay, so there's the chaff. Wow. That was the chaff, and that was its close in weapon system making light work of my missiles. Huh. Well, that was a disappointment. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, um, that was an epic fail. So we just wasted another three harpoons in his direction. So the long and short are, um, they accomplished nothing. They got tackled by the close-in weapon system. So now we've got to wait for um, 
the, the, the tubes to reload. I'm going to loiter close to the surface. This is kind of dangerous, but it'll be fine. What's the worst that happens, right? Let's switch to accelerated time. Yeah, so what we've proven right now is that no matter how many, uh, well, say no matter how many, you fired three at once and that didn't work. So I'm going to fire all of them. Shoot two one, aye sir. Shoot two three, aye sir. Shoot two five, aye sir. Shoot two seven, right. aye sir. That's eight missiles heading his, his way. I'm going to have some luck here, right? Surely. Surely. So I'm running out of missiles. Yeah. I only got left of those three lonely little and uh, um, cruise missiles. And uh, the, the the land, these things, the land-based cruise missiles are not effective. So let's see what happens. Uh, these missiles are going to get any more luck. There goes the chaff. More chaff. More chaff. And lots of chaff. Let's see. And one's down. Okay. Comes the second one. Coming in for another strike. Yep, got taken out. So, this thing's anti missile defenses are pretty robust. Look at all that spewing out. Did we just epic fail again? Con, room, tube one ready. We may have done. Um, hmm. I uh, am a little disappointed with that. I honestly Con, thought no. we would have <laughs> a bit more luck with this, but we don't. And now he's heading right at me at 80 knots. Way to go, David. You've upset the Kirov by firing how many missiles now? I don't know. Well, 13, I think. So we've got three left. And there's a couple of mosses heading his way that he may launch upon, but they're not really a threat. Well, they're not a threat at all. He's now doing 22 knots. I don't even think I need to bother with the other three missiles. We're just going to up, up, upset him. I'm not going to accomplish anything. I may as well just switch to running torpedoes in, instead. Let's accelerate time. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Yeah, he's coming right at me at 26 Con, knots. Room, tube four ready. Um, let's get some torpedoes on him, I think, then. This was not going to be um, what, what we do, tube but four. I, I got to take him out somehow. Con, torpedo room, tube I'm just going to feed him a diet of torpedoes until he gets indigestion, I think. Shoot like so, yep, there we go. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. Uh, I don't think he can take three torpedoes in the face. I'm going to find out, though. All right, so now he's making evasive action from my torpedoes. He's 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 running for it, and it's a sensible choice. So tube number four, we're going to dogleg this one just a little bit to the north. We'll do the same for number five and number six. Now he might decide. Oh, there we go. He's turning turning back towards me now. I'm going to uh, reduce my depth. I'm not going to worry about that right right now. So I'm now guiding, wire guiding these, these torpedoes. I'm basically stacking them up. So with three, the hope is that one of them is going to reach the target. Reducing my depth. Um, a good time to probably do a missile strike is at the same time he's evading torpedoes. Let's 
let's uh, make these go active just a little sooner. Because um, if he's coming towards me, which I think he is, then uh, I don't want them going active after they've, they've gone past the target area. He lost his... Um, lost a, a good a good signal on him a good I, I don't have ears on him I suppose I might say I think his positions about here okay so tube number four has spotted him let's turn his active sonar on there we go it's gonna it's gonna relay that back to me all right so now he's pretty upset Okay, I'm almost at my. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon I'm almost at 200 feet. I can start to throw cruise missiles at him, assuming he's not too close, which he might be. Uh, he's making pretty radical evasive, evasive maneuvers. Now his systems are supposed to be. His closing weapon system is automated, so he doesn't need to really have crew to to man that. But, uh, yeah, wow. Okay, that's one strike. We might take him out here with... Yeah, there's another one coming right up his, his stern. Okay, let's fire some cruise missiles. Because, I mean, we really want to tackle this, this guy. Big hole. All right, I've already got him. So I got him with torpedoes in a demonstration video about how to use missiles. Way to go! Uh, I think he's now going to get struck by miss I cruise missiles and another torpedo. Yeah, they they got the cruise missiles. Here comes the torpedo. <laughs> I mean, we've got to make sure, right? Okay, well that is how you use torpedoes uh, to destroy a surface warship in a missile demonstration video. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, uh, this is uh, Captain Numpty masquerading as David Steele. I'm not the world's poorest player at Cold Waters, but there are better quality captains available on YouTube. But hey, you don't come here for the quality of my, uh, of my seamanship, right? No call to seamen here. Hope that everyone's having an amazing day. Um, hope that you enjoyed today's video. It's a little tongue in cheek. And uh, don't forget, I like boats. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>